Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So, I finally found the foundation I've been looking for for like three weeks now. And I finally got it, I'm so psyched. So it is the Maybelline Dream Urban, Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen. So I am so excited to use it. I hope this is my shade. They only had 16 shades. So I normally get really tan in the summer, but I really haven't been on the sun too much. So I'm not as tan as I normally would be. So I am hoping Classic Ivory is going to work because the one after after this, the, the Buff Beige is the one I normally get for summer, 130 Buff Beige in most foundations, but it was way too dark. So I had to go with the 120 Classic Ivory. And I also got another new product, but this video is a first impressions and a wear test on this foundation. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. So I'm going to put a little bit on my little plate here. For primer, I am going to my go-to, Open Glory, one heck of a blot. So now, I already did my eyes, I did a, I did simple, like, you know, neutral colors because I'm going to work, so I have no falsies on. My eyebrows are already done, I always do those first, and my eyes. But I'm going to work, so I usually don't wear makeup to work. But I really want to do this video, and my husband has the night off, so he gets to help with, keep the kids quiet. As you see, you don't hear them right now, which is great. So, I am wearing my, my Dunkin' Donuts shirt because I'm going to work, and I gotta go to work. I gotta be there at 10. It is 8.10 right now at night, and we gotta do this video pretty quick. And I'm gonna do, I wanna do the weird test, so I am gonna bring my camera to work with me and I'm gonna do a check in. Hopefully, I'm not too slimmed where I can't check in. If I can't, I will check in at 6 a.m. when I get out. So it is like it is 8 o'clock right now, so that's not too bad if I check in then and show you guys what it looks like then after an eight hour shift of work. So this is a good test because I'm going to work eight hours, very busy, running around a lot. It, I work the drive through, and if this foundation can last through that, we're good. We are so good. Hopefully this is my shade. Okay. It's working out pretty good. Good thing I didn't get the buff beige because that wouldn't have worked. So far, that's what it's looking like. All right, I think that's good. We don't need to build it up too much more. All right, so now for concealer. Let me get my powder ready, because I always get that ready before I do my concealer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Light. So I'm trying to decide between concealers right now. I want to use either the e.l.f. Camel Concealer or the Revolution Conceal and Define. I haven't used this in a while. I'm gonna use e.l.f. We're gonna go with e.l.f. So let me show you guys. The e.l.f. Camel Concealer. And this will lighten it up a little bit too, because of the color. Wow, the concealer blends out so smooth over this, like butter. Holy crap. Look at that, I barely even touched my forehead and it blended like right in. That's good, I like that. That's a plus. That's it, everything is blending beautifully on top. Mm. 
but will it hold? We will see. All right, we got a powder ready. Now I'm not gonna bake, I'm just gonna throw some on and then literally wipe it off right away. No baking today. I'm gonna wipe it away. When I go to work, I do a very subtle light contour. Cause like I said, I'm going to work. But before we get into the contour, I'm just gonna go over the rest of my face that I didn't powder. And I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte powder. This is my go-to powder, I love it. And I already got another one for when this runs out. <laughs> so good it is. Play on a contour now. And I'm gonna use my go-to Koki contour powder. Now, we're gonna use some blush. Oh, um, no. I'm gonna throw some bronze over that contour. Just a little bit. So I got another Physicians Formula. Because my other one, <laughs> my lovely kid, dropped it in the toilet. So, that happened. So, bye bye bronzer. But I finally just got a new one that I almost just dropped right now and broke. Just a little bit though, we don't wanna overdo it, you know? I'm gonna use my Real Techniques powder brush. Oh, I love to smell this. Mm. I love it. There's a new one I saw, like, um, it's called Sculpting Bronzer. And it was really dark. But I wonder, I'm gonna pick it up and try it. Just to see what it does, you know? It looks a little darker, but maybe it'll be, it'll work out. Just gotta go very light handed with it. Oh, I miss the smell of this, it smells so good. Now some blush. And I'm using the Milani Ro Romantic Rose Blush. Alright, so now before we get into anything else, I'm going to put this Lore, um, Maybelline Lash Discovery on my bottom lashes. I'm not going to put any um, eyeshadow because, like I said, I don't want an intense look. I just want a natural look. So, I'm just going to throw a little bit. Let's make them pop. We're going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Now, what do we have left? Lipstick. But let's look at my face before we get into lipstick real quick. I'm going to lower my ring light a little bit just so you guys can get a better look. And a different lighting, so I'm going to get closer. My NYX Pale Pink lip liner. So I never used to put foundation on my lips. I would literally go like that. But then I didn't like, you know, around here the way it would be. I got foundation all over my, my nose ring and my chin ring. But I heard it lasts longer. So 
It makes the lipstick last longer, so let's see. I'm gonna use the Milani, a more matte liquid lip in the shade Adorable. All right, so now, last but not least, setting spray, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look how we look. Okay, it looks pretty good. Um, we'll just see how it holds up for the, the night. So this is my completed look, and I'm really excited to see how this holds up through my shifts, honestly, because, like I said, this is the best time to do a wear test. Like, let's see how this holds up at work, doing an eight-hour shift where I'm going to get water on my face, and I'm going to be running around, I'm going to be hot, and... I'm gonna be cooking food, I'm gonna be doing drinks, everything. So I think it looks good now, but will it look good in a few hours? That is the question. I'm not gonna bring any powder, nothing to touch up. I'm gonna let it just flow, see what happens. And that's about it. So thank you for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, click the bell right next to it for more post notification from me. That to let you know when I post new videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel so I can hit my 1,000 subscriber mark. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I hope to see you on the next one. And stay tuned because we are going to be checking in in a couple of hours to see how this makeup is holding up. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys back later on our check-in. Bye. All right, so we are officially at work. Clearly, I am at work. So, it is officially... Let's see... Officially, twelve o'clock. Let me put my camera down so I can try and get that to focus. There we go, eleven fifty-eight. Okay, so I did do a couple of dishes. I'm trying to stand under, under this light, so it was good. All right, so we're, gonna, we're zoomed so in now. And this is what it looks like so far. Zoom out. So, it's holding up so far. It still looks good in my opinion. It looks good. It's not cracking anywhere. It's not creasing. My smile lines always start to like, you know, wear off, like not wear off, but you can start to see them again, obviously. Their smile lines, they're strong. And so, you know, it is holding up though. I like it. it, it looks really well. I've been getting a lot of compliments. Like everybody that sees me says, wow, your makeup looks really good. And I'm proud because like I told you guys before, I'm gonna grow with my channel. I'm new at makeup. Well, I was new. I'm still, I still am very new. I just started doing makeup when I started my YouTube channel. So that was like about a year and a half ago. And yeah. I was really excited to start my channel, and I just wanted to do it. I got inspired. I watched a lot of makeup videos all the time, so I got inspired. I bought a very good camera. I got the EOS Canon Rebel T6i, and I'm in love. I got the road mic, the $100 road mic. I love it. I got my equipment. I got my ring light by Newer, and my soft boxes and all that, and I'm just happy. Like, I got my background. I'm happy. Like, I like doing it. I wish I could, you know, I, I'm trying to be a little more consistent. But like I said, living in the hotel with my boys, it's a little hard. I need my husband home and he works he works 40 hours a week just like I do. And I mean, I work overnight, so that's good. You know, I got time during the day, but he works night two to 10, so two to nine, because I come in at 10. So, you know, gotta do what we gotta do. But my makeup is holding up. And like I said, I got lots of complaints. I'm mean, complaints, <laughs> sorry, I'm at work and a lot, of, a lot of customers complain too. But not about me, no. But anyways. A lot of compliments, so that's a good thing. It's always a good thing. As soon as I walked out my room, like four people, I'm like, and I'm not trying to like, you know, be gas or anything. I mean, it feels good. Don't get me wrong, but I still have a lot to learn. But today, my makeup really came out good, and I am honestly, truly loving it. That foundation is not bad. Obviously, I can't give a full review on it. I like, I need to try it, you know, a couple more times. But so far, the wear test is holding up really good. Hopefully it can make it through an eight hour shift because if it does, that's great. And then I know it's strong enough to hold through a, a summer day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm not at the beach or anything today, but if I can make it through an eight hour shift at work, I'm good. I'm good. So, all right, I'll check back in again in a couple hours.
Bye guys, see you soon. All right, sorry guys, I'm busy. Oh, let me take this off real quick. We gotta do this quick because I'm about to get my morning rush. Look at my, from my visor. Well, we gotta do this quick because I'm gonna get customers. So, this is our second check-in. Last one was at 12. And now it is 3.15 a.m. I'm gonna put my phone down, do the same thing okay, again. I see on that. All right, so let me see if I have a customer. All right, so it's 3.16. It's been another three hours on top of that. We checked in at 12, it was three hours, and so now it's been six hours. I'm trying to say it in this light. It's been about six hours since I applied this foundation, which is at 9 p.m. And honestly, it's really holding up. It looks really good. I mean, it wiped off my ear a little bit, but that's because I have, I have the headset ear muff rubbing on it, so it's gonna wipe off. Um, I gotta hurry, because I wanna smoke real quick before I get my slim and rush. So, around my mouth, it looks good. Damn it, I do. All right, so let's wrap this up real quick. All right, so around my mouth is good. My nose is not cracking or breaking. Honestly, it's holding up actually pretty damn good. It's not breaking anywhere. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I'm using my little Sephora mirror. No breaking, no creasing, nothing. I mean, my smile lines obviously, but it looks good. It's been six hours so far. So far, so good. So I'm psyched. A couple more hours to go. Three more hours. Three. All right, so I did the makeup at nine, checked in at 12, so that was three hours. And then, again, it's another three hours because it's three o'clock a.m. And then I'm going to check in when I get out of work at 6 a.m. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try and go smoke a cigarette real quick before I get my rush, because it's coming, it's about to happen. All right, I'll see you guys at 6 a.m. All right, so it's our last check-in. It is 6.35 right now. 6.36 a.m. Our last official check-in. So, so far, it has held up everywhere except my smile line, which is not too bad. I'm not mad at it, because that was concealer. I put a lot of the concealer over it, so, you know, but it did hold up everywhere else. Just my smile lines have put, like, you can see the crease in my smile lines. See the crease in? All right, so other than that, it did hold up for an eight hour shift. So that is a plus and I'm gonna keep trying this. So again, thanks for tuning into my channel. Please make sure to click the subscribe button below. Click the bell right next to it for more post notifications from me. That just lets you know when I post new videos. Thanks again for tuning in. See you on the next video. Bye.